Sok Ryu found out that Sung Hyo had confessed to her again while he was reading a book, and she ran to find him right away. The two met in the sunflower field. She indirectly confessed her feelings to him, and Sung Hyo understood her and kissed her. They confirmed their feelings with that kiss. After the kiss, there is an awkwardness in the air, and Sok Ryu wants to confirm their status by asking him, What kind of relationship are we in now? It is their first day as a couple, and they can't hide their happiness. It seems that Mo Um will call them to ask about their relationship, since Sok Ryu borrows her car to meet Sung Hyo. She will be happy to know they are dating, as she always supports them. Since Sung Hyo goes there for work, they meet with his colleagues. Seeing them happy yet awkward at the same time, Nayun realizes there is something between Sung Hyo and Sok Ryu, which breaks her heart, especially when they invite Sok Ryu to have lunch together. Sung Hyo's attentive care for Sok Ryu during the meal, along with the look on his face as he gazes at her, clearly shows they are dating. However, Sok Ryu and Sung Hyo still want to keep their relationship a secret. Sok Ryu waits for Sung Hyo, who is busy working on his project. After he finishes, they secretly spend time together again. Seeing him smile while looking at her, Sok Ryu questions him if he likes her so much. Sung Hyo replies with a yes, making Sok Ryu happy. It seems Sung Hyo is also answering her confession when she tells him that every day feels bland without him. So he tells her that he is always with her. He explains that he is always thinking of her, even when he went to the U.S. for work. He looked for her, including when he received her wedding invitation. Listening to him, Sok Ryu falls asleep on his shoulder, tired after driving to Gangwon Province. This makes Sung Hyo smile, as it means she is comfortable around him and that he can be trusted. After returning, Sok Ryu feels bored reading the comic book by herself. So, she decides to take a nighttime stroll and runs into Sung Hyo. Surprised to see him, she asks what he's doing there. He responds, What are you asking after seeing this? She wonders if he's always been such a warm person, to which he replies that she must see her boyfriend as cold-hearted. The mention of boyfriend makes Sok Ryu feel shy. This prompts Sung Hyo to ask if he's not her boyfriend. Then what is he? She acknowledges that he is her boyfriend, but saying it makes her feel awkward. This response seems to upset Sung Hyo. Then, Sok Ryu asks him if he built the house, and Sung Hyo confirms that he did. Not only does she feel awkward, but later Sung Hyo will also feel awkward. Amid their busy schedules, Sok Ryu and Sung Hyo officially go on a date. It is a movie date, and Sung Hyo is already waiting for her in the cinema after finishing his work. As he waits, he notices her approaching and feels happy but doesn't know how to react. He pretends to focus on work until Sok Ryu gets closer. When she calls out to him with excitement, Sung Hyo doesn't look at her and simply responds, You're here? This leads Sok Ryu to misunderstand him as being uninterested. He doesn't even mention how pretty she looks, remains indifferent while watching the movie, and doesn't hold her hand when she tries to reach for his. Sok Ryu expresses her upset feelings to Sung Hyo, but he reassures her that he likes her so much he doesn't know how to treat her. Hearing this makes Sok Ryu happy, and she wants him to express his feelings freely. On the other hand, Mo Um's application is accepted for a South Pole position. She will go there as she wants to. Before she goes, she wants to prepare a farewell trip for Dan Ho and Yan Du. So she asks Dan Ho to take a vacation. She wants to bring them somewhere and won't tell them where she will take them. Since Yeon Du is envious of children who have a mom, Mo Um wants to make her happy just by being with her and Dan Ho. Since there is a yacht nearby, it looks like Mo Um will take them for a ride so Yeon Du can have a new experience. After that, they play with water guns together. Having spent time with Mo Um and Dan Ho, Yeon Du doesn't feel lonely and might want to always be with Mo Um. When Mo Um tells Dan Ho that she is going to the South Pole, she might not go if Dan Ho tries to hold on to her and make her stay in Korea. Meanwhile, as their children are spending time together, their parents are as well. Sung Hyo's parents finally communicate with each other, clearing up their misunderstandings through this incident. They realize that they still love each other and decide not to get a divorce. As they mentioned before, they will be happy together since it rained on their wedding day and when they registered their marriage. Meanwhile, Kyung Jong finds out about Ye Suk's condition from Sehwan and he brings her to get a brain MRI. 
After learning the results and the cause of Ye Suk, who keeps forgetting, Kyung Jong decides to take a leave from his job to spend more time with his wife. Along with Sok Ryu's parents, they plan a hike in the mountains. Mi Suk notices how Ye Suk has changed and also sees the transformation in Kyung Jong. He is so passionate about taking Ye Suk's picture and tells Gyun Sik that Kyung Jong is trying to make his wife a model by making her legs look long. Not only that, but Mi Suk feels jealous of how Kyung Jong cares for Ye Suk, purposely shaking her wet hands while he protects her with a hat. Later, Mi Suk compares her husband to Kyung Jong, wishing for similar treatment. Tune in for today's episode as Sok Ryu and Sung Hyo start dating, creating a sweet atmosphere, and explore Sung Hyo's deep love for Sok Ryu. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.